Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own educational games and activities using TinyTap's free iPad app. I've been doing a series about TinyTap, and so far we've only used the web version of it. Today, we're going to look at how to use it on your iPad. So here's the TinyTap in the web browser, but I'm going to bring it up right now on my iPad, and we'll see, here's my iPad with my TinyTap open. I'm going to create a new activity right now. And you can see here, I have all the same design tools that I have in the web version, but I also have some additional ones that are not available in the web version. So first of all, let's start by creating our cover slide or our title slide for the activity. Now I'm gonna choose a style here for my slides and I'm gonna use this kind of nice purple thumbtack frame idea. And I can go down here and choose anything from these packs of cool little icons and drawings and other fun stuff. You can see we have shapes here and I can pick something out of that shapes. But for this one, to keep it simple, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some text and I'm going to put in a title. This activity is going to be based on questions that my daughters, my preschool age daughters have asked me. So I'm just going to call it questions from my daughters. And there's my text. And now I can just click and drag and put it where I want. Now, one of the nice things about the TinyTap iPad app is that we have this neat little drawing tool right here. And so I'm going to use this drawing tool. I'm gonna to pick some colors, like that blue color there. And I can do a little sketch of me, that's me. And then I'm gonna do a little sketch of my daughters. This is my daughters. There they are. And let's add some question marks above their heads. And I have my title slide now complete. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little check box in the upper left corner, and we'll see we're into our slide navigator, and I'm gonna add a new slide. Now, I can do this in a couple of ways. I could just hit new slide, or I can use this little menu, open that up, and when I do, I'll be able to duplicate the slide. And now let's go in and edit that slide. And to this slide, I want to add video. And this is one of the nice things about the TinyTap iPad app is I can use my iPad to add video right into my activity. So to do that, let's click on set activity. And now I'm going to choose play a video. And you can see up there, I can do a search for a YouTube video. If I know the link for a YouTube video, I can just paste it in there. Or I can hit add video and select capture. And I'm going to flip it around so it's looking at me like this and I can do a little intro. This activity is all about questions that my preschool age daughters, who you can see a little bit in the background there, ask me. And so I can have this video, and I'm gonna select that I want to use the video. So let's use it.
And so now I have that video in my activity. If we go here and click on the preview button, All right, so after previewing my video, I now have it there as a slide, and now I'm ready to create a little activity beyond just watching the video. So to do that, let's go in and add another slide, and I'm going to, again, use a style, and you can mix and match styles. So my first couple of slides had this rather white purple or lavender color scheme but for this one i'm going to do a yellow color scheme and i'm happy with that and i'm just going to leave it like that now a question that my daughters have asked me a bunch of times is why is snow white so i'm going to add in a picture of a snowflake and I want a royalty free picture and there I have a photograph that's royalty free you can see there I've selected royalty free I'm looking for a snowflake and I want to use let's say this picture here so now I have my picture in the slide. I can just pinch and zoom to make it bigger, to tilt it. Let's say I want to put it over here in the corner, and I can use it that way. And there's a nice helpful little grid to help me line it up. And you'll notice that there's another little feature here. I can tap on that menu to use some of these additional editing tools like automatically filling it to fill the whole screen, flipping it if I need to, blurring it, removing any white space, or using the image as a background. But there's also this little button here. It looks like a set of bunny ears popping out of a hat, and that's because that feature is called Houdini. And with Houdini, when the image is tapped, it will then disappear. Or you can do it the other way and say it shows up when you tap on that space. Now for this particular example, I'm not going to use the Houdini feature, but I wanna point out that you could. So, now I'm going to set an activity and I'm going to set the activity here on the left on the right hand side where I'm just going to say something. In other words, I'm going to give a little lesson. So I'm going to say something. And we'll start my recording. As we can see here, a snowflake is actually clear. It only appears to be white when it's with others and the sunlight or moonlight hits it. And you can see there I reached my maximum recording time, so I'm going to try to do it one more time. The snowflake is actually clear. It only appears to be white when the sunlight or moonlight hits it. So that time I stayed under my 15 seconds and I now have that recording to go along with that slide. And I wanna make this a little bit bigger and make it fill the screen. So I'm gonna click and drag and move that around. Now we can preview this by hitting the play button down here if we want to. And so the sound will now play back. And as soon as the playback is done, 
it goes right back into the editing mode. So now I'm going to add another slide. And we'll do that right here. And again, I can use any of these styles, and in this case, to keep it consistent from the previous slide, I'm gonna use that yellow one again. I'm gonna use these drawing tools here, and I'm gonna write some numbers. I'm gonna write five, six, and seven. And with five, six, and seven now written on my screen, I'm going to set the activity. And my activity is going to be ask a question and record my question. How many points does a snowflake have? Then I'm going to trace the answer area. I'm going to use this circle to help me make a better shape around it. There we go. And there's my question that I've now added in. And when I'm done, we have our question. Now, so that there's a little more context for my students, I want to add in a picture of a snowflake once again so that they know what I'm referring to, and they have a little bit of a visual clue to look at as well. So let's go ahead and now preview this by hitting the preview button. And they got it right. Now, if they had hit the wrong answer, they would not have seen that option. So I like that one. And I'm going to save that into my activity here. Now, to wrap this up, I want to revisit that idea of using the Houdini mode here in TinyTap. And so let's add one more slide. And I'm going to, again, choose a style. I'm going to use a different style this time from our previous ones. Let's use this one here i like this this one with a nice sunny scene and my my daughters have asked me why are the leaves a different color in the fall than in the summer so i'm going to add some pictures and i want to look for a picture of a maple leaf we have a lot of maple trees where we live so this is something that they are familiar with seeing and let's look for some clip art. This time I'm going to use clip art that's royalty free instead of a photograph that's royalty free. But I could, could have just as easily used a photograph. But I'm going to use clip art here. And let's use this green leaf. And that's not a maple leaf, though. That's an oak leaf. So let's delete that one. Let's go back in. Let's find another maple leaf. There's a red maple leaf. And let's add another one. Let's see if we can find one that's a little more green. There's one. And let's add one more. And so I've added now these three maple leaves. And one of the neat things that, again, you can do with TinyTap is you can say, we want to remove the white. So now it's just the leaf. I don't have that white space. I'm going to do the same thing again, remove the white area, and I'm just going to have that leaf. Now, I'm going to record with a little say something. These are three maple, oh, let me start again. These are three maple leaves, two red and one green. The green one is what you would find in the summer. And so we'll add that in. Now, I want my students to 
tap on the leaves and have them disappear. So I'm going to use this Houdini mode. And I'm going to say something like, tap on the green leaf to make it disappear. And I'm going to have it hide on tap. And so now this leaf will disappear when they tap on it. And you can use this for a lot of things, like saying tap only the leaves that appear in the summer and only the leaves that appear in the fall. If I wanted to do that, I certainly could. And so I'm gonna save that slide and save it to my activity. And the last thing I wanna show you that's really neat in TinyTap's iPad version is that we have some background music that we can add in. So I can choose any kind of background music from this list here. I like the sun and no clouds one. Take my word for it, it's good music. I tried it out earlier. And so that background music will now play throughout my activity. So that's a crash course in how you can use TinyTap's iPad app to create educational activities for your students. Take a look at the list of links in the description down below for a lot more TinyTap tutorials and some examples of some really great TinyTap games made on an iPad. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.